Hello and welcome back to the series in which we're talking about Spacey. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Spacey Entity Ruler. I have talked about this in the past, but that was with Spacey 2.0. In this video, I am showing you how to do the Spacey Entity Ruler in Spacey 3.0. And that's part of my project to update my NER textbook, which you can find at ner.pythonhumanities.com. So in order to use the new Entity Ruler, you really can do a lot of the same things that we did before with a few minor changes. Let's go ahead and walk through those right now. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to import Spacey. This is pretty standard. The next thing that we need to do is we need to have a text, so some kind of string. In this case, I'm using the same text that I use in my textbook. Our goal in this video is to capture basketball as an entity, specifically the entity of sport. So let's go ahead and walk through all of those steps right now. Now the same thing that we're going to do is what we've done with Spacey 2.0. We're going to create an NLP object. Now we have a few different things that we can do here. We can either do a blank model or we can load in a small Spacey model or any other model that we want to add a pipeline to. Let's go ahead and do Spacey.load in core web SM. So this is going to be the small model from Spacey. Now what we need to do is we need to create an object. We can call this anything that we want. And we're going to set that equal to nlp.add underscore pipe. And we're going to add in an entity ruler. This is what is a little bit different than what we saw with Spacey 2.0. We used to have to create a pipe and then add the pipe. Now we just add in the pipe with the correct factory name. If we're doing an entity ruler, it's entity underscore ruler. Next thing that we need to do is we need to establish the same thing that we did before, which is a series of patterns. Now, this is going to be the thing that Spacey looks for to understand what constitutes an entity. It expects a list, even if it's just one item, it needs to be in a list. It expects a list of dictionaries. This dictionary is going to have two keys. It's going to have the label, in this case, sport. You typically use syntax with all capital letters for a label. And the next thing that it needs is the pattern. The pattern is going to be, we're going to call this patterns, I apologize. And the pattern is going to be the, the string, this, the, the, the thing that it's going to look for to assign that label. In this case, we're just going to have one pattern. And this is going to be our, our basketball. So that when it finds basketball and the tokens, it's going to automatically assign the label of sport to it. But we have to do one other thing. We have to add these patterns into the ruler. We can do that with ruler.add underscore patterns, and we can pass in our patterns. So what that's going to do is it's going to load these patterns into the ruler, which is also loaded in into our NLP. And now what we can do is we can create a doc object, make that equal to NLP text. So it's going to create the doc object with the NLP now with the entity ruler loaded in, going over the whole text, and we can iterate over all of those entities as if they were just a regular output from our NER. We can say for int and doc.ints, so we're going to grab all the entities in the doc object. We can say print off int.text, int.label. Now because we're using the small model, we're going to have some other entities grabbed as well, such as a date, probably a location like Spain. But what we really want to see is if our entity ruler is in fact activated and grabbing the custom entity that we've just loaded into it. In this case, the custom entity of baseball, or sorry, basketball. And as we can tell, our output is exactly as we would expect. It's grabbed Martha as a person, Spain as a GPE, date uh, is the 05 June 2022, and Lo and behold, we've got our basketball exported. If you found this video useful, please do consider liking and subscribing down below, and also consider supporting the channel via Patreon. I put all my videos out there for free, and your support really allows me for to keep this channel going uh, into the foreseeable future. Thank you for listening. And if you're interested in learning more about named entity recognition in Spacey, check out my textbook, Named Entity Recognition, which can be found at ner.pythonhumanities.com.